why it's irrelevant. Same thing as them. We, the reality is you made the mistake. And that one little mistake in regards to what, where it took place, it changed the tempo of the game for about three minutes, right? And they got a goal off of that. They tie it off 1-1 one, one, and you go into chaos. You're already using energy to give instruction to one another. The way you pick and choose to use energy is the most important factor. Okay? It's not even about everybody that stepped in because I know that some didn't, didn't get a chance to step in today. And that's just how college soccer goes sometimes. But I'll tell you, we were able to finish that because of how we went about a week ago. You remember that one? Okay, you fought through it. It doesn't matter the end result, whether it was overtime, double overtime, whether it should have been six goals, whether it should have been one and we just got by. Regardless, this is the first one of 2019. Okay, be proud of that. Be proud of getting the win and doing whatever it takes, whatever it takes, to get it. And it took a little bit more than what we were expecting. That's okay. You got the win. For a lot of you freshmen, it's good experience. So now you're identifying how hard we got to work. All right, Sarah, big win. I was able to get that golden goal there in second overtime. Just take me through that goal. Yeah, so my teammates, they shot it, and I got a good deflection, and they just set me up, and I put it in the back of the net, and we got the first goal, or the first win of the year. So we're really excited. And Sarah, just tell me, uh, how's it feel to get that first win? Yeah, it feels great. Um, um, the whole team's been working really hard for three weeks. and. Um, so we played last night and battled the whole way and then we came out here today and we went in double overtime and so it feels just really great to get that win. We worked really hard for it. So we're really excited to continue the season. David came away with a hard fought decision today, 4-3 in double overtime. Sarah got the golden goal. Just talk about the win. Yeah, so it's a scrappy win first and foremost. And so any win is a great win in our league. And so uh, for it to be a second game of the season, uh, come away from a long road trip uh, with a one and one. You know, we're, we're, we're pleased with that. We would love to have been two and zero, oh, but we didn't play our best last night against ASA. So now against MAC, JC opponents uh, to bounce back and have an opportunity to, to build on it. Um, we're excited. We have a quick turnaround, a uh, long trip home uh, tonight, and then we'll have a recovery day. And then we see Southwest Tennessee at home on Tuesday for our home opener. Uh, but we're looking forward to the challenge. There's some things that I got to uh, work out and wrinkles uh, and some kinks with the team, but I I'm excited about doing that. And so a lot of freshmen grow up today as well in this hard fought battle. Uh, just a classic MACJC battle as well. Yeah, it is. And uh, you know, that's something about our league is uh, you come into this league, freshmen are going to be seen and, and be expected to play. And uh, and they did that. And I gave our, uh, our freshmen a lot of minutes tonight, and I was impressed with how they fought through it. Uh, biggest thing I told them at, at overtime was uh, find a way to win. And, and they did. Freshmen were contributing all the way through the game. So excited about that because I know we can build on it as we move forward. Uh, through the league.